Welcome back. Hank has become such a big part of our hockey family, but back in the fall of 2020, our friend was about to embark on a late career adventure as he geared up to join the Washington Capitals. But a few weeks before training camp, his whole world changed, as you'll see in this clip from the documentary Open Heart. Checking in for uh, blood work, Lundquist, L-U-N-D, Q-V-I-S-T. When you do get signed by a new team, you do physical testing and, and you go over everything. And they could hear something, so I had to go in for a test. And, and they found uh, a leak um, in my heart. For a long time, I knew I had a condition, small issue. Never thought about it. No symptoms. Felt great on the ice. I did notice that fall, though. Every time I was home walking up the stairs, I got really, I got tired. Um, that was the only time I really thought about it. On the ice, I'm used to getting tired, so I didn't think much of it. And there was a lot of tests, scans, and, and conversations with different doctors. They had to go and do some tests. He didn't really specify what was going on, but um, he came home one day, and you could kind of see that there was something going on. He was kind of chatting, chatting with his wife, Therese, uh, quietly, and I could see that there was something. You could sense there was something wrong. And I remember went downstairs to pack my bags, brought up all the big bags to make the move in two days. Um, and we had a big call with the, with the, the doctors and, and all the tests came back. The aorta being that size concerns us, particularly in someone who is playing. You know, I, I appreciate that you're a goalie, you have protective padding, but you still have potential to take some hits there. You know, not far behind that, for, in my mind, is, is the narrowing of that aortic valve. With the aorta, the risk is dissection, tearing of the blood vessel. You know, there's the risk of death with that, a, a, a significant risk. But then the narrowing of the valve, the risk is that you're not getting enough blood supply to the heart muscle when you're exercising at the very extremes. Uh, and that can increase the risk of abnormal rhythms and sudden death. If, if, if I was your brother, would you tell me not to play? I would. Yeah. Um. Um, uh, what, what about, like, surgery? Um, is there anything you could do now? And then, you know, how long is, is, is the process to get back after surgery? I think this is a pretty big surgery for you. And the idea of coming back is probably not something in your best interest after a big surgery like this. Uh, it's, it's hard, man. I've been so inspired and motivated. This is crushing. Documentary Open Heart available to watch on Netflix starting in May.